Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Meiosis. This is episode number 20. Today, we're gonna add a new cell, a really important one. We're gonna be making the module cell, which is going to create speed module 3s and productivity module 3s. I'm not going to be making efficiency module 3s because that just saves on energy. And what's the point on saving energy when you've got 500 steam engines right there? And we could add a bazillion more, and we're going to have 10 million trillion solar panels eventually. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to make this module. I think the exit will be right here, just to the south of our steam engine area. And by the way, I've been tinkering with the oil stuff, trying to get it nice and optimized. Um, my oil storage, which is right here, which houses all the just a crude storage, it's getting refined here. These tanks are all full, so we are back in business. Our oil shortage is over, and uh, just from looking here, you can see I've doubled the amount of uh, draining, the emptying process from taking the crude oil out of the, the barrels. I've doubled that. I've got a second line of pipes leading up to here just to try to squeeze more throughput, and we're going to have to increase our refining process, our capacity. Because all of these are going 24-7, and it's not enough. So one way we can do that without rebuilding the whole thing or extending it is with speed modules and with bacons. So this is a pretty good time. Oops. Okay, good. It did not pick up any of the concrete. This is a pretty good time to start making speed modules and productivity modules en masse in lots of bulk. The first thing we need to do is we need to clear out an area for them. So let's just see. We've got a nice big open space here. That should be more than enough space. Let's go into our blueprint book. And I think we're going to have it be right about there. So just for a moment, let's take that up. And the bottom part of it will be this one. Okay, just pick up all of that. Should take just a moment, and then we will fill it back in with the the alternate blueprint. And then make sure we have a big enough area available on the left. There we go. I think I have everything on my inventory. We might be missing some stuff. Let's get uh, let's get the signal stuff. I don't know if I had both types on me. Let these guys fill in this. Okay, lovely. Is anything missing? Uh, no, everything looks fine. All right, so this is the path they're going to, uh, whoops. This is the path they're going to exit the system from to get to the cell, so let's just do that. And it looks like this section is already pretty well cleared out, so that's actually kind of handy. I thought there might be a huge forest here. There is a big forest kind of up, up up here still. But we happen to actually miss that. So we don't have to spend time clearing it, which is nice. Okay, so this is going to come out like this. All right, so I figured out the spacing for the stops. We've got three different materials, greens, reds, and blue circuits. So we're going to need three of these guys. So let's do it. Uh, let's do this one first. Right about there is fine. There we go. I think I have enough to do everything. If not, we'll just go back and get more. And we want three of these parallel. These are as close as they can be to each other. So I took a moment to find the proper spacing. Seems like it's lining up right. Do I have enough chests? I don't know. This does take a silly amount of chests. Each one of these does 56. In fact, mm, no, I probably have enough. I guess it's just going to take these bozos a while to do this. So, um... After we're making, for a while, there's not going to be any trains coming to pick these guys up until we make the uh, the eventual future depot cell. I don't even know where that's going to go. Where we will collect all the useful things that I make, that I need uh, on a regular basis. And we'll need a large open area for that. Maybe in this area could be the depot cell. But for a while, there will be no train coming to pick up stuff. But uh, when we do need it, there is space to allow one. And let's, let's do this so that we can at least have some lights. Let's lead this guy over here. There we go. Ah, that's good. 
All right, so did they do everything? Uh, looks like we ran out of belts. I still have belts. Oh, they're, they are low on charge. Okay, guys, charge up. And then we're gonna have to figure out, looks like I'm missing the stops. Okay, let's go see if some of those are in the car. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, it does not appear that way. I will have to come back for those. Now, we're, we're gonna have to figure out exactly how to lay out this cell. We're gonna need a lot of assembling machines. Are these guys done yet? Yeah, I think they did everything except for the three actual stops. Uh, which is fine, we won't need those for a little while. So we're making uh, Speed Module 3s and Productivity Module 3. Speed Module 3s, we're gonna have, I think, uh, two. Two assembly machines making those. And let's see, where are they? Um, they take four Speed Module 2s each, but the Speed Module 2s are created twice as fast, so we need uh, a two to one ratio there. And then the same is true going from Speed Module 2s to Speed Module 1s. Speed Module 1s are created twice as fast, and we need four. So we're gonna be uh, two to one again. So let's just, uh, let's put a little cluster here. These are just the ratios we're gonna have. And of course, we'll have to figure out how to get all the different uh, the circuits, the different colors to the different processing units in a nice refined manner. The Productivity Module 3s, they're a little bit different in that they take five Productivity Module 2s instead of four for the Speed Modules, so that just means instead of two of these, uh, we will have five. So that works out nicely. And they will sort of share, I guess, this middle one. And then the, uh, the normal ratio of uh, four to one is for the, the next set. So this is basically the amount of assembly machines we're going to need. I think that'll be fine. And we can eventually speed them up with speed module 3s and with beacons and all that kind of stuff. But this will this will be good to get us going. All right, well, some time has passed and I've done some design work. I think I finally have a layout that is gonna work. This is what we're gonna use. We're gonna have four of the level 3s of each type. And we can expand it later. And we're gonna try to lay it out in such a manner that makes it expandable. Let's reset this blueprint, auto save. And then let's take all of this and make a new blueprint. And we will give it the speed module three label. Okay, and let's get the radars out of there. And then I've got this guy who was my productivity one and we will reset him. And let's see, um, I guess just to make this tileable so we can place more later. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, okay, I think that'll work. And in fact, if we're gonna make this tileable, I should change this other one to not include these guys over here on the left. So let's actually reset that. Let's do it again. Okay, that should be tileable. Yeah, good. Okay, give that the Speed Module 3 icon. And do we have the lights all set up? I think so, so it'll be nice and bright and cheerful. And then we will set up this guy like so. This guy's a little bit more complicated. Uh, I guess that's good like that, huh? Boink! All right, Productivity Module 3. Put that on the bar. And then let's pick up all this stuff. Pick up this guy as well. Pick up these guys and these guys, all these little intermediate guys. And then we're gonna start laying it out. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have each of these going off in either direction. We're going to bring the conveyor belts down southwards from our train stops and then have one go off to the right and one go off to the left. So if we need to have more of one than the other, we can expand in that direction. I think over time, we I probably want more speed modules than productivity modules. The productivity modules are most useful in the oil products because oil is uh, can be very sporadic to get access to. In terms of like copper and iron, I've got so much of it available, I don't really care. 
about productivity. We care about speed, raw speed. So let's have this guy go off to the right. It's hard to see um, because you can't see the uh, the settings, the save settings for it. So I guess we can have it come kind of like I don't know that. Okay, lovely. And then the three different item types are going to come down through here. Uh, let's let it go ahead and fill all this in. Oh, I guess I turned off the pollution, didn't I? The pollution over, oh, look how thick that pollution is. It's bright red. Okay, so there's that guy. And then we will have this guy. This is the blue one. I couldn't see the values because it was turned off. He will be directly opposite. Over here. And uh, in the fullness of time, we'll have a train come by to pick up this stuff. And that station will be down here somewhere. Oops, let's not get too far away. And then let's just temporarily, let's do uh, this to provide power to this guy. There we go, we've got some lights. All right, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna set up the different things that need to come down through here. First, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and put the train down through there. So we can see vaguely where it's gonna go. And then it's gonna come back through there and exit. This middle line here needs to be mixed with uh, blue and red. The entire design here is predicated upon the assumption, which I have not done any math for whatsoever, that uh, having reds and blues on the same line, half and half, is enough for all of these and all of these. And if it's not, we can always, of course, upgrade to the blue conveyor belts down the road. Uh, okay, so this guy, I think, is going to be, yeah, module cell blue. So let's, they've already been balanced there. Let's actually, let's find the middle here. Something like that. That kind of looks like the middle. And I went ahead and edited that out. That was some tedious belt production creation fiddling. And, uh, well, I think I've got it all set up. Let's see if we made any mistakes. It probably looks confusing to you right now. It'll make a lot more sense once we have some uh, items on the belts with their colors sort of displaying where things go. So let's go ahead and get the trains going. So this will be the green train. Let's give him a green color. Zero for the red, a full blast for the green. Let's give him uh, some coal. Okay, so we want you to go really simple. We want you to go to green circuit. Got so many stops now. It's starting to get uh, a little bit overwhelming with all these stops. Green circuit, where was it? Green circuit cell, there we go. And we want time passed. And uh, 20 seconds, I think, is fine. And then we want it to come back to blue, no, not blue circuit, module circuit, module cell. That's the word. Module cell green. Time passed. 20 seconds. Okay, off you go, bunny. So that is going to be, the green circuits are going to be these outer two belts. The red will be the ones in the middle, and then the blues will be the one in the center. So let's get the next train going. We'll do the reds next. And by the time I get the third train set up, and off to its uh, pickup location. The first train will probably be back here already. So this one's gonna be red, full red, nothing else. Give it some coal. And then very simple, we want it red cell. Red circuit cell. Time passed, 20 seconds. And then we want it to come back to the module cell red. Time passed, 20 seconds. Okay. Off you go. Hi-ho, silver away. All right, one left. We've got four more of these cargo wagons. This is for the blue one. This is the first train, I think, picking up blue stuff. And I was looking through all the different things possible to make in the game. And I think really the only other area that's going to require blue circuits is going to be my rocket launching area is going to require a lot of blue circuits. A blue circuit cell. 
Uh, so it's basically going to be this area, which we won't need to access all the time, and the rocket launching area, which we're going to need to access all the time. It's going to need a stupid amount of blue circuit cells, or blue cells. Okay, there, there, good. And then it needs to come back to modules. Module cell blue, time passed. 20 seconds. Uh, and I actually want to limit how much it can carry. Because uh, creating blue circuits is so expensive, I don't want... I don't want too many of my blue circuits tied up in the train and in the belts and all that kind of stuff in chests. Uh, I think this is ready to go. Okay. Oh, here comes the greens. The green has already returned, just like I predicted. Zistro, Zisto Damas strikes again. So you can see uh, the greens are coming down. They're getting split and going half on the, the top half of this outer belt and this outer belt. And this has to sort of snake in here to get to these inner productivity module one as assemblers. Sometimes my... Oh, here, here, here comes the reds! Looks like we don't have many of those. Now, I do have the reds going several places. We might have to look into the production of red circuits because we really did not pick up many there. Red circuit cell is over here. And it's going a number of places. It was bottlenecked for a while because of the plastic production. But the, pla the plastic production is doing well. We'll just have to look at that as time goes by. And looks like the ones that were delivered... Uh, just got... Yeah. Just got uh, eaten up right away by the assemblers. But the blue circuit should be showing up anytime. I swear, I started this clip just before sunrise and uh already we've got the lights on but i guess i have enough lights that it's okay it's nice and bright where is that blue train blue train needs to go over here i guess it's kind of far away but i do have a pretty good amount of them saved up is it this guy i guess we could look on our trains um i'm not sure exactly this is the one we want oh it's it's almost back Okay, and this will at least uh, allow us to confirm that I set it up properly. Okay, so they're coming down these two middle, and then they're getting mixed so that each belt has the same amount. Then they're going to the top half of these two belts. And then the output, the final output is the level three, uh, the level three productivity modules which I have limited to the one stack to each of these chests. Each of these assemblers has one chest. Uh, oh, I did not get alien artifacts. Okay, that's kind of a... Yeah, that's... I messed up there. I did not... I did not go pick up a bunch of alien artifacts. We can't actually create any of the level 3 stuff. Um, I do have some on me, just from the fact that I was uh, clearing out some of this space to make it a bit cleaner. So I guess we can make these. But I don't think I... I don't think I allowed for a chest for here. Yeah, there isn't one. Huh, I might have to redesign this power system because we have to... I have to have a chest here to, to give uh, alien artifacts. We're going to have to get rid of this and kind of do this kind of thing. Like that. Uh, maybe we can fit this guy here. We're going to have a gap there in the middle. And that's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Uh, what if we put the chest here? Okay, that's easier to see. Okay, so we can give you some of those. Okay, now you're getting the alien artifacts. Uh, let's see, I think I did it like this. And I'll go get more eventually. Just want to main, make sure that everything's working fine. This guy in the middle needs power. So if I just do that... Okay, that kind of solves the problem. So I guess we will just uh, adapt that for these guys as well. And up here as well. A little auto-save. 
That autosave, by the way, the longer it takes to autosave, that is a measure of how awesome your, your Factorio base is. The longer it takes, the more awesome your base. Good. Okay, everything's powered again. We've got space for the alien artifacts. In fact, just to get things going, because it's going to take a while to eat through all of these, let's just snag half of those. Let's not get hit by a train. Uh, oops. I want actually this chest, which is hard to see. Behind that, uh, whatever it's called. Substation. Okay, there we go. We should be in business. We just have a serious lack of red circuits. Well, guys, here is the red circuit cell. And just looking at it at a glance, we can kind of see what's going on. The plastic is backed up, at least on the belts. The, uh, the chests here are not totally full. The green circuits are totally backed up and all the chests are full. We're creating those, a lot of them, and we, uh, we have a lot more capacity to make them. Copper's doing fine. Copper's backed up. Chests are full. Trains are a little bit backed up. Why cannot you... Oh, you're the other red... Oh. Huh. You're kind of blocking him, aren't you? I didn't think about that. Okay, um... I might need an alternate route for this red train to come here and to bypass these guys so that they do not block the greens and the, uh, the coppers and the plastic trains. Okay, interesting. I might have to think about that. Um, but, yeah, we're, we have all the materials on hand. I think what we really need to do is to just double all of this. And I don't really have room here, so what I think we might do... Um, we could expand into this open area here, or we could create an entirely duplicate red circuit cell. And we could put it over here. Yeah, I th and just have it uh, purely feed our module cell. Because that is the big thing we're missing. We need red circuits for a lot of things. Our capacity is just super strained. The other thing to look at, besides um, fixing little, this little train routing issue, is let's go check on our plastic cell. Let's not get hit by a train. Uh, here's our oil production, by the way. So we... These guys are all full, our storage. All of these refineries are getting used non-stop. I've got quite a bit of flamethrower ammo, so next time... We kill some aliens, probably next episode. We're gonna try out the upgraded, redesigned flamethrower. Where's that plastic at? Here's our blue circuits. And uh, those look like they are, they're missing red as well. Yeah, they're missing red, which means it's limiting the blue we're creating. We need more red circuit production. That is a major problem in our system right now. These guys seem to be doing fine. I might need to create more plastic chemical plants. Because we have uh, we have enough oil now to, to support it. And I think we could definitely do with more plastic. And I will show you really quickly... Oh gosh, train! How I doubled up on our oil empty emptying little facility here. I basically just made a blueprint, copied it pasted it down here. I, the major kind of bottleneck here is just how much can fit in these pipes. I've got plenty of pumps, so the pipe that's getting pushed out into is full. And really, uh, we need to, I need some speed modules in those refineries, because the refineries just can't keep up with all this oil. Yeah, so we need to increase the plastic production. But next time, what we're going to do, first off, is we're going to make a duplicate red circuit cell over here and we are also going to start distributing some speed modules as we can create them so that we can start speeding up some of these areas that are existing that need to be a little bit faster without completely without uh, completely redesigning them anyway okay so that's it for the episode hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you next time on factorio meiosis see you later bye bye where did i leave my car <laughs>